Millions and millions of women suffer in silence every day from symptoms like urinary and fecal incontinence, from chronic constipation, from pain with intercourse, and they have no idea what's causing those symptoms. Hi, I'm Sherry Palm coming to you today from the U.S., from my home here in Wisconsin. And I'd like to shed some light on what's going on with, with your bodies. I'd like to talk to you today about pelvic organ prolapse. I'm the author of Pelvic Organ Prolapse, The Silence Epidemic, and the founder of APOPS, the Association for Pelvic Organ Prolapse Support. And my journey began when I was diagnosed with pelvic organ prolapse. I had been doing health research for 25 years. Um, my best friend's my healthcare practitioner. I'm very fortunate. And uh, when I noticed tissues bulging out of my vagina, I knew something was wrong. And I went in for a pelvic exam, and the diagnosis was pelvic organ prolapse. I'd never heard of it. Went home, did some research, and started to discover just how common pelvic organ prolapse is. I knew almost immediately that I needed to write a book to get the word out about this health issue and let other women know that this is what's causing the problems that they're experiencing. I feel that there's no shame or embarrassment tied to these, these symptoms. We need to start a dialogue and let other women know that they're not alone and create the recognition that this health issue truly deserves. My hope is that as you'll share this grassroots movement journey, that you'll share information that you've learned with other women, with your sisters, your cousins, your friends, your neighbors. Vaginal childbirth and menopause are the two leading causes of POP. Because of that, there's a very wide age spectrum here. And as we continue with this movement to create some awareness about this health issue, Women will do what we do best. We will nurture each other, we will support each other, we'll guide each other. Uh, no one can network quite like women do. We're, we're good at that. So I'm hoping that this becomes a movement with women helping women. Again, it's, it's a global pandemic. Women in all countries suffer from this, millions and millions of women. POP is seldom life-threatening, but it's always life-altering. I'm hoping that you'll let me be your voice. No one can help us as much as we can help ourselves.